all radiation is invisible, including medical radiation. Radiation safety measures are in place by law and through institutional policies and procedures to protect patients, staff, and the public from unwanted exposure. We have multiple steps of checks and balances at every single step of the patient's journey through the radiation therapy care to ensure that everything is done perfectly safely. Most radiation used today is created electrically inside the machine only when the beam is turned on. Therefore, the risk of accidental exposure is very low. Treatment unit rooms are built with lead and concrete to absorb radiation. Radiation sensors, warning lights, and interlocks indicate when radiation is on or off and prevent it from being on unintentionally. Internal checking systems in the machines verify all settings that are prescribed in your treatment plan. Sensors measure the type and amount of radiation as it comes out, and interlocks prevent the wrong or too much dose from being delivered. One of the most important things your treatment team ensures is that the dose to your healthy tissues is as low as possible. Unfortunately, it is impossible to avoid treating some of your healthy tissue, and this is what causes any side effects you might experience. We ensure the treatment is accurate and safe by making sure we're treating the correct tissues. That's by carefully defining our targets, by carefully locating the tissues that we don't want to treat, such as, for example, the spinal cord or perhaps the lungs or the heart or, the, or various nerves in the brain. Um, and then developing a plan that carefully covers the tissues we want to treat and avoids the tissues we don't. The positioning and imaging done on the treatment unit each day allows the therapist to ensure this extremely precise treatment plan is delivered exactly as prescribed by the oncologist. We take a cone beam CT image. It takes about one minute to two minutes to acquire this image. It's a high precision, three-dimensional volumetric image. We can compare that precisely to the treatment position of the patient uh, based on plan. By comparing the images, therapists can decide whether your position needs to be adjusted. Adjustments as small as two millimeters can be made. 1.1 or 1.2 millimeters is the thickness of a Canadian dime or a Canadian penny. So we can consistently image a patient and position them to within the thickness of a Canadian dime or a Canadian penny. Once a personalized treatment plan is developed, individualized checks ensure that the plan is ideal for your treatment. This is known as quality assurance or QA. There is a quality assurance check at multiple levels by the therapist, by our physicists, and then by ourselves. So there are at least three levels of checks to ensure that everything is delivered perfectly. So when we review the treatment plans, we're looking for uh, deliverability of the plan to make sure it can actually uh, deliver on, on the equipment, make sure it's uh, safe, make sure it's uh, follow, following all the practices and policies of the different uh, site groups. Once your oncologist, a physicist, and a therapist have all approved your treatment plan, it's reviewed again by a broader team of their colleagues at a meeting called Peer Review Rounds. A group of peers will review plans that are uh, destined to commence treatment and comment on the appropriateness of the volumes in the treatment plan. A number of measurements and tests are performed regularly by many people as part of the quality assurance of the technology. We're always involved in the continuous uh, uh, checks of the equipment and the, um, uh, the infrastructure that's used uh, for treatment. Tests are done to make sure the computers and machines are communicating properly to each other and to the treatment teams operating them. Team, the medical physics team, are continually checking and monitoring those devices to make sure that they are accurate and uh, precise. Physicists and their machine services colleagues do a series of radiation measurements on daily, weekly, monthly, and an annual basis to make sure the machines are operating as they should. There's a quality assurance uh, measures that occur at the level of the treatment unit to ensure that the radiation machine is actually delivering the radiation treatment that we intend to deliver. Communication between those involved in your care is a critical element of the quality of care you receive.
ensuring that everyone is working together to achieve coordinated and patient-centered care takes good communication within an interprofessional radiation medicine team. Communication uh, amongst the team uh, is the most important part of the radiation medicine program. What I'm telling the patient has to be the same or consistent with what the radiation therapist on the treatment unit is telling them or the, the nurse in the, in the nursing clinic. The, the benefit, the clear benefit of patients is that we never kind of innovate or um, work in a bubble. We're a patient-centered care institution and we have strong communication between all disciplines to ensure that the patient gets what they need throughout the whole course. If you imagine the patient as the center of care, they're only going to be reassured if all of the all of the individuals surrounding them in their team are speaking the same language and telling them the same thing. We're a multidisciplinary team. We have radiation therapists and radiation physicists and radiation oncologists, um, nurses, we have social workers, dietitians, and on a daily basis we're interacting with multiple members of the team to ensure that everybody is aware of what's going on with the patient and we can all work together to make sure the patient's treatment is, goes as smoothly as possible. But I think it's very beneficial to the patient because you want to have your whole team on the same page. 